really good information always matters. And of course, when it comes to precious metals, we talked to SBC and Steve's here with us. Um, let's start off with the new administration. A uh, lot of changes in policy. How is this policy change or these policy changes we're seeing, how's it affecting your industry? It's got a lot of our customers a little bit nervous because we've seen what's happened in the past when we've had a fully democratic Congress and a democratic president. If you go back to Obama's first term, we saw the debt went up 88% within four, the first four years. And consequently, gold prices went up 171%. So I think people are looking at the past and realizing that there's a lot of things that could repeat itself. Well, and we've created a lot of debt because of COVID in the last couple of years as well. So this is gonna be compounded on top of that as well, right? Yeah, no question. And people have been nervous about what's been going on over the last few years and have been a little bit uneasy, moving a lot of their assets into more safer positions. And certainly that's something that a lot of our customers are looking for as well. Okay, so we watched this GameStop thing happen. And you know, people were make, talking, joking about it being like uh, trading places and the big guy finally not getting it, little guy winning. But this is making a lot of people nervous as well. What's this doing to your industry? Well, what it was doing was basically there were, you know, these Wall Street hedge funds were coming in and they were trying to drive down this stock. And when, when the, the buyers came in and started buying it up, it started pushing the margins the other way. Well, we found out that it was a free market until the rich started losing a lot of money. The same guys that were pushing GameStop up are coming in right now and pushing silver. They're looking at the silver ETFs on Wall Street and they're using that as a way to be able to drive the price. But what it's done is it's created a huge separation between the price of physical silver and the paper price. And we're seeing demand off the charts. I've never seen anything like this in 18 years. There's virtually no product available. You know, to a certain extent, you can get what's available right now, but beyond that, replacing it's gonna be a real challenge. So what are you, what are you saying to your clients about this? Well, look, we don't know what's going to happen if it's going to be a big, huge move like what happened with, uh, you know, with GameStop initially. That's something that we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But over the next few years, we already know where the debt's going to drive things. We know that gold and silver are going to have a big move because of that. And if it does create a huge move in the short term, that's only a little bit more of a benefit that they can get if they get in right now. So uh, it, it, this is why we like talking with you, because th when they saw what happened with GameStop and then someone started doing it with silver, your phones must have started ringing off the hook. I've never seen anything like this. The last week has been, you know, I, I would get on one phone call and by the time I'm done with that phone call, I've got six messages. And it's like that all day, every day. I, we've extended our hours. We're there longer. I've, I've, I've never seen the physical demand this strong in this short of a period of time when something like this happens. All right, let's talk about the word bubble. We keep hearing again, stock bubble, housing bubble. When people get nervous and they hear that word, what does that do with you guys? They look for a flight to safety, and that's exactly what our markets do. If you go back and look at the 2008 financial crisis, that was our client's best times as far as getting growth in their market. So it's about having to hedge yourself against other markets when they get very volatile. If bubbles do start bursting, you know that the gold and silver markets tend to do very well in that period of time. So when you put all three of these things we're talking about together, that's why people got to start making calls now, right? You want to make sure you're protected. Correct. You want to be ahead of it. You want to kind of be proactive in this. Make sure your retirement plan, your IRA is safe. Make sure you have good diversification in that or your other investments. Make sure that you don't wait until after things have made the huge move and then call us. That's why I always appreciate you guys coming down. Listen, SBC is a wealth of information. Get on their website. There's a lot of stuff there. But more importantly than anything else, make a call. Talk to somebody like you so that people know that they're protected and they don't wait too long. Thanks. For, All right. Thanks it. for doing it.